He's here. Cannon fire and some other things that actually um, have fire too. You don't want to go play with these right away, but over there there's like centipedes, millipedes, whatever you want to call them. They look pretty dangerous, but they're pretty easy depending on your level. In here you'll get swarmed by poison things. There's necromancers. Um, I'll show you what they look like. This is what they look like. They're very poisonous but not that bad unless you're being swarmed by them so it's good to have um this equipped i'm gonna go up the stairs show you where the cannon is this is where the guy gets you from the cannon and that's how far it hits so you're getting hit from that side and from the centipede things and there's a few items up here but as you can see I've already cleaned it out um, and here there's something that I'm not really sure what to do with it because if you've ever played Dark Souls 2 there's things that you know actually there was one thing that I remember clearly I was a knight that wouldn't attack you unless you attacked it and this is what it looks like I tried to write a note about it not to hurt it or anything because I don't know what it is and the knight from Dark Souls 2 it was pretty powerful and it had a lot of moves every time you encountered him as he sat there and you dropped different things but this I've never seen um, lantern doesn't affect it you can get as close to him as you want he doesn't seem to do anything so I just, I'm leaving them alone until I know more about it. Let's see. In here, there's a big fat guy guarding this, and that's about all that's in here besides the switch here, which I'll show you what that's going to activate here in a second. You're going to want to be careful in stepping on this platform. I wrote a note here, but I also wrote another note because I figured out where it came from. This statue here spits out poison darts, so I destroyed it. I don't know if the, um, yeah, apparently the statue is the cause of it. This opens up a door, and I think I know what it just opened, so we'll be going there in a few minutes after I give you the grand tour of this area. Again, there's really not much in here except for that tall white spirit thing, so I'm not going to mess with it until I know what it is and what exactly it will drop and if it's even worth trying to mess with. Um, again, you get greeted with a whole bunch of uh, these poison guys. You might want to be very prepared for it. And here there's a chest. I forgot what it dropped, but I think it dropped. Um, you get these from the caterpillar things or whatever the hell, the centipedes. Um, but the other thing that came from the chest, it wasn't clothing, but it was just a single item. don't know what it is exactly. But in here, it opens up, and it's a very long, square passages. And there's leather um, switches, actually. These go down back in the certain parts of the square area where the creatures are. It's all that's over here, all the way down. I've looked over here. So, you can explore it more if you want. You can hit the walls if you want. I'm going to do that later, you know, when I'm more up to it. So, this takes you down, and as you can see, the thing is going to go up and down. You know, pretty simple, right? So, over here. You know, more, this is, you know, more poison. There's this guy, and then there's another thing that's a necro, but you'll notice them right away. 
within these trenches you've got to look around there's a few things in the trenches I guess um, the caterpillar things are pretty damn easy um, you sneak up on them they're pretty big I guess they're for, their body length is from here to that switch you want to give them that type of attack basically and that pretty much hurts them um, I would say maybe four hits um, they shoot fire. I don't know what else they can do because I didn't get grabbed by them, but they drop, as I said, they drop these right here. And I don't know what those do. So I don't know if they're farmable or just one time things, but it just, you know, be careful when you're in this area. And again, as you're going down this area, tons and tons of poison things. And until you find the necro guy, uh, they won't start, stop swarming you. Well, let's go see what's in that door real quick. Because I think the whole purpose of going through that was to open this door, which was locked apparently, and I just opened it, which leads down a very long floor door. I'm not really sure what's going to be in here. I'm pausing and not wanting to go in right away just in case there's something waiting. I don't know what the, what's going to be down here. Does it go? That looks like it might lead to something like a boss. I'm not really sure. But don't quote me on it yet. If those guys are poisonous, I'm not gonna let them touch me and find out, but I'm not, I'm not gonna toy with this area right now. I have enough health to screw around in a new area like that. So let's go down the staircase a little bit so you guys can get more excited about opening these areas more interested in what's going to be down here. Ooh, that's a big door. What is going to be behind this door? Okay, that's a boss. And I got to fight him. Shit. I'm not going to this fight. No, 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 that's not touch me. I don't know what you're capable of. Oh god, I was not ready for this. You are one ugly little fucker. Oh! Oh god. Come on. No. Good. Use the health. Get away from me. Okay. Got back on going.
Well, that was uh, interesting. I didn't think I was going to be able to beat that. So I guess you get a cup from that, and uh, there's a um, bonfire right there. So there's a little bit of extra for you guys. And there was a little bit of a walkthrough of an uh, area that you guys might not know of. And a boss of some kind. Wow. I'm going to have to explore these areas a little bit more and give you guys more details.